you are an atrocious, atrocious human being. <laughs> and I'm glad to have you as my friend. <laughs> you fucking terrible man. Anyway, right. That's how the you do The man it. who saw the world. Uh, wider than a mile. Uh, are you going to be crossing this in style? Moon River. Yep. Either that or this level's gonna be a crossover bayonet. Have you seen the fucking galaxy advert where they use Moon River? Yes. That's actually a really good advert. It is. We were once the rulers of the Albert Engineer. Is that Noise Feinstein? I bring you in so that you can tell me about the architecture, man. I think that was a, it was. No, a painting of the Schloss Noise Feinstein. The famous castle few past in Germany. That is why we will You're gonna get a really good external shot of her moon mansion in a minute. Ooh, there's said moon mansion, moon mansion, moon mansion. Moon is moon. it the Kremlin? I am Moon River. No. We live on the dark side of the moon. And she looks like Audrey Hepburn. And we're sneaking in Pink, Pink Floyd because it's the dark side of the moon too. Moon mansion, moon mansion. Romances, man. Fuck. I was trying to think of. Uh, fuck, I can't think of it after Moon Mansion. Moon Mansion, Moon Mansion, Moon Mansion, as far as we got there? Fuck. He called himself David. David. Ma'am, do you know where this man lives? On the dark side of the moon. I see. Of course, it's the dark side. Do you know how cheap the rent he's is the over there? Side. I'm afraid he's not. Comes to the dark side. And you'll only have to split rent with like four rabbits. How much will it cost? And a church. Well, the more the rabbits breed, the uh, the less rent you have to pay too much per head. To be exchanged mm. in cash. So it's in your interest to keep them. So you pay less money. I, I, and I have dinner. I have a friend who lives in Texas. And um, he, he's, I have no way of verifying this, but he claims that apparently every now and again his neighbors go outside oh, and fire David guns into the air at night because it keeps the rent down no or something. Foul creature. Well, because they live in a dangerous well, well, yeah. Post -haste. Brilliant. This job will be done for a one time discount. The price is your kiss. That ought to be worth more than money. Oh, he's a player. <laughs> If you can, if you really can execute this man, you'll get more than that. Then you may have it. Yeah. Just, just, just insert Boss, the clip for no more heroes I here. Start this job now, right? Okay, how about this? If I become number one, will you do it with me? Vivian, a contract, please. Thank you very much. You can pay me. When the job's done. After the last display, why not ask for upfront payment? Because he's trying to be a player and it's working. Oh, dear. What am I going to do with you? It didn't take long to get to the moon. It felt like my insides were being crushed. Oh well, sucks to be you. I'm glad I decided to sit this one out. I wanted to go. <laughs> Say, Mondo, is it your first time on the dark side of the moon? Yeah, but I got this feeling of deja vu. Don't overextend yourself. If you need help at any time, we'll come no matter where you are. I'll be fine. You'll still be eating breakfast by the time I get back. You know, just pop a helmet on and then um, away you go. He's, no. he's gonna run into Phil Swift coming the other way with his flag taped head. Yeah, I'll tell you what it reminds me of. It's one of those horror films. I think it's Friday the 13th. You know that music that plays at the time? I think it's Friday the 13th. You're not thinking of Halloween with the creepy ass keyboard music? Halloween, that's it, yes. J John Carter's creepy keyboard music? The Thing, you're thinking of The Thing. That wasn't anything, was it? Was it? John Carpenter uses creepy ass keyboard music for all of them, but it's most yeah. pronounced in Halloween and the thing. Halloween, that's the one. Good movie. You seen the new one? No. 
I love the new one. The new one's fantastic. There's no oxygen. Why aren't I dead? Interesting. And that's all he had to say on that. <laughs> if I just did. Go over it. Because you're the fucking expert. Do you want to tell me if you can vaguely uh, figure out what uh, this looks uh, like? It looks like the Winter Palace in uh, St. Petersburg. It probably is. The, okay, that no, you're probably right. Just because Russia features prominently later in the game. Shall we go on with that then? Yeah. Pe people can correct us in the comments if they disagree. <laughs> Oh dear. I completely forgot that you can just look at the inside of the mansion and give us your thoughts. Well, oh, I know the exterior better than I do the interior. This is going to be the rest of the game now, is Reese giving us interior design tips. I'm not going to start talking about French Road, no. I said interior design, not bullshit. Actual interior design. I do recommend you have steady sofas to come and handle more than once. Or, you know, a nice food on. Why? <laughs> Can you imagine having that in and you have gas, like, put that at the head of your dining table so that guests have to look at it while they eat? Yes, here's a picture of me banging my wife. Oh, dear. No, it gets the wife in the mood while she's eating dinner. <laughs> what do you mean you don't want to stay for dinner, Paul? No, the wife sees that. This is, uh, you think this is a main course? No, this is a starter. I'll tell you what the uh, dessert is. Fucking <laughs> hell. Yep, that's how most of it. This guy was really proud of his sexual conduct! Because <laughs> he's got the same picture in multiple rooms! Rip his spine out. Dead on, crush. I can give it a go. Ooh. Medica rising. Yep. No, this one has this thing where you just bicep them perfectly in half. Cost oh. blood to use though, which is a nuisance. I'll tell you what though, um Raiden would be great in Mortal Kombat for that reason. Because I can see a brilliant fatality in that in that regard. Hmm. But if, if Raiden's electric powers conflict too much with Raiden's, then you could just use Great Fox. Uh, Super Mario. <laughs> oh, so the Smarty Pictures are portraits. Uh, all the more reason to backing you closer to looking at me. Can you get me some? Hello. Dora! Real cool. Uh, Hello. You want blood? Well, <laughs> blood for the blood god. Good enough, man. I just blood for the blood gods and sex me. for Reese's sex throne. It's free to stop by the sex throne. <laughs> the sex <laughs> throne. <laughs> I have no idea. I assume that's what you meant naming your foos on. Foos on. Japanese. Oh dear. Well, what do you call them? Pull out sofa. Well, the pull-out game is strong, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh! Reese, you're terrible. No, that's not what they told me. No. Oh. oh, look, it's Metroid. <laughs> Metroid or Metro? Metroid. You know what I'm on about. Yeah, yeah. Kid's dead now. Uh, it's a Hyperion engineer. Oh, shit. I had my bats keep an eye on you. Now be a deer and bring that to me, yes? Oh, vampire bats collect the blood. Oh, right, I forgot I had that DLC installed. Yeah, they they did some DLC purely as a joke to the fact that they have Patrick Sites as the voice archer where um Mondo gets it on with a vampire. Yeah. That reminds me, Ma Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 has been made. I think Linkara reviewed the first one. I think. 
fuck is on that laptop? It's a reflection. I it? think it's just reflecting the wall. Yeah. Sorry, I thought there might have been an Easter egg on it. Bloodborne! Ah, the Grim Reaper. From Bloodborne, yeah. It could be worse, we could have to fight the aborted fetus from Bloodborne. With its fucking yo-yo umbilical cord finger. Oh Jesus Christ, I actually just said that in a sentence. Oh, what's the, what's the, what's the boss battle called? Fetus to eat us? <laughs> I have no idea. Sorry, no, I just really want to appreciate that chain of words in that order for a second. Yo-yo umbilical cord finger. I'm sorry, that's what it is though. It's like the forsaken child or something. Cray. But a far less adequate way of putting it. Uh, cray. Are we just gonna play fucking calories? Are we coat hanger? Are we just gonna play Bloodborne at some point? Maybe. Let's let's get the engineer on it. He's the fucking expert. Did you didn't collect anything that was in that, or does it automatically? Kill? I already have all the collectibles. We're playing a clear file. So why are you smashing them? Um, uh, reef for the blood bar. Because I turned infinite blood off because otherwise it'd be too easy. Yeah, so there were some red things in that vial over there. Yeah, I, okay, I've missed them because I'm a fucking idiot. Whoops. Hey, um, why did you just have a door in your house? You know, instead of the elaborate system of paintings? Like, you have doors. Why not just use exclusively doors? Because he's contrarian. Fair uh, enough. It's the moon. There are no rules. <laughs> there are no rules on the moon. What happens on the moon stays on the moon. It's obvious, isn't it? He's a lunatic. Okay, that pun was bad even for Sam. Be somewhere you can actually play a little bit on that piano. I'll have a look at that. Play the funeral march. <laughs> Swedish funeral. In other words, the French national anthem. Basically. My no, flesh. can't play the piano. Shame. Surprising how many national anthems are just uh, sad and depressing. And then. <laughs> You've got America, which is trying too hard. I can't spend so much. It, it definitely is. Have you seen the one where Al Mori talks about national anthems? No. Um, he, he sums up America's national anthem the best, where he talks about how pointless the anthem is compared to the other countries. Okay, other countries actually remember to sing about the countries, and America's anthem's just, um, ooh, it's a flag, it's a very nice flag. Have you seen the flag? Yeah. It, it was written during the siege of Fort McHenry. In the War of 1812. Oh well, that explains a lot. So they have, yeah, really fucking nice garden on the moon. They do, yeah. So what they're talking about in the anthem is depicting the siege of Fort, Fort McHenry, and the flag on the flagpole still was there after the siege. So that's why the anthem's written the way it is. And uh, obviously, who was sieging Fort McHenry? We were. And, uh, <laughs> oh my god, the British are coming, but we're also the British, ah! Yeah, no, this was the War of 1812, so this was after their independence. So, uh, the best part about it is it, the tune of their anthem is a drinking game of a, of a uh, gentleman's club, or uh, s uh, some private members club in the UK, the Anacron Society. Okay. The original song is To a Necron in Heaven, and the idea was that if you could remember all the words and still sing it legibly, or you still sing it and people can understand you, you get a free drink. Then you weren't drunk enough. <laughs> so you kept singing. Poland's anthem. I have it, a fantastic combo going to some help. Poland's anthem sums up its history in five words. Poland is not yet dead, <laughs> or Poland is not yet vanquished or conquered or whatever whatever the past tense of the verb is. But 
that that tells you everything Fox. you need to know about <laughs> Boris Adam. I think the remaining Adam is equally depressing. Uh, is any idea what the Latvian anthem is? Nope. Fair enough. Sorry, I get kind of just killed that conversation very quickly. No, I don't know much about the Baltic states apart from they sang to get the Russians out. Alright, fair enough. Singing revolution is real. <laughs> Some peaceful revolution. Now to reinvent their own national tales it's just to tell people job. to not be violent. Oh, hang on, here comes plot. I should just warn you now, he, the, the, he's dressed like a JoJo villain. By which I mean he's dressed like a porn archer. I'll prepare for the fourth wall to get fucked up the ass. by the way. David, right? What are you doing? Here. You're really going to ask me that? Looks like the are sick girls of fitness. Can't you tell just by looking? I'm acquiring unparalleled power. <laughs> this isn't even my final form. <laughs> it's not. Quite fitting for a ruler. That smile. You seriously plan to Help conquer me. the world with Help that? Me. You look like a male model in a cheap underwear. <laughs> what the fuck is this dialogue? You're a funny guy. What do you say? How about we join forces? Join forces? Yeah. Why not? We can become kings and rule the earth. <laughs> Tempting offer. But I'm gonna have to pass. Conquering the world is so overrated. Well, it's like Tusa first stuff. said, everybody wants to rule the world. Besides, if you go that route, we'll get tons of complaints from the gamers. Isn't this supposed to be an action game? Then there's no alternative to crossing Suda. I don't think Suda51 knows how to have a fourth wall. For the sake of the game. I hope you realize the gravity of executing me. Do you? Nope, not a clue. Okay, cat burglar. No, the gravity is getting be less because they're on the moon. It's time to die. Okay, that was stretching it. Like, I thought me making a joke about eye drops was bad, but that was no. That was unparalleled levels of bad. <laughs> what are you what are you doing? I'm acquiring unparalleled shit jokes. Oh dear. Yeah, that's right. You only eat soft boiled eggs. Heck of a diet. He needs it for that protein. How do you know that? That's a good point, actually. Fair enough. Can't be any worse than the Pepsi, the Pepsi man. Only Pepsi. Reminds me of a fortune green text. You have to eat all these eggs. Oh no. I can see the entire world. I can see the world though. I can show you the world. The job. Killer is dead. Ah, is here. It's a good thing I'm not actually drinking, otherwise I'd be fucked by the time we reach stage I, I, 7. I can just imagine Ms. Kano right now. Sorry, bro. Job's a job. As if it couldn't get any gayer. The depressing part is it's a David Bowie reference. <laughs> you know that David Bowie's famous for car pieces, right? Sort of, yeah. I knew he was famous for being eccentric with the costumes, yeah. You know there's a religion based around David Bowie's card piece? You know. <laughs> they call themselves Aerialites, and um, yeah, they worship, they believe that the secrets of the universe are gonna be found in David Bowie's area. I'm so, yeah, so we kind of don't know where to go after that point. <laughs> See, he has this extravagant replica of the Windsor Palace and he can't afford clothes. When you. So, Reese, you don't need clothes when you're a god. Well, we're going, we don't need clothes. <laughs> oh my. Thumbs it. See, what I plan to do is. That's why he's got pictures all over with his wife. 
Oh my. Because she certainly didn't need clothes when he was, uh, what he was doing. That's a point, where is the wife? Stop him! I'm trying! I love that his parry is actually just he fucking knees him in the face. This reminds me of the Armstrong fight. With the yeah. Of slashing. And the uh, power bursts. It's just the part that it's how the parry function works in this game. If you get a perfect parry, you get a free aura. Problem with timing is a bit finicky. This just reminds me ever more of Metal Gear Rising. The blade mechanics. I think this came out like a year before Rising or something, because, um... Well, Ra Rising was in development hell, so... It wouldn't be out of the question if it took at least some inspiration. 2013? Yeah, run about that time. Kim Rising came out after this, I believe. What was that for? It, it went through... <laughs> what was that for? It went through a few problems in its development. So Don't it, tell me. You need blood. <laughs> Gather more blood. Blood? Let's take it from him. Blood for the Dio hunt? Can't you feel the hunger in your left arm? That's his choking hand. Or, um, He's feeling the compulsion again. Alternatively, we could go over a clip from Dragon Ball. And this is the hands that I masturbate with. Look at that shit eating grin. That is a grin to launch ships. You can sate that hand with Noob Cybert's Fatality from MK11. Just slice them open, stick the hand in, Bob's your uncle. Oh and not no. In the <laughs> There's the fucking face again. They had to immortalize it in a picture. So just stick it on his wall. That's just gonna frame that on my wall forever. But we ultimately let the target. Oh great! Now he gets to say his choking hand. I'm sorry. It was my own weakness that caused this blunder. I don't know how to. We should have worked out the hand more vigorously before going on the mission. Don't know how to make it up to you, but uh, I've got a few ideas. I can wait. However long it takes. Oh my. Can you now? But it also means I do not have a home. To whence I can return. Then. Yes. Player. Yes. Player. Yes. Player. yes, in son. Player. Right, kick her up. You need her to cook the eggs, remember? Uh, right, in the doghouse. Right, you can have the bed. Oh uh, dear. Well, time to unfold the foods on. Yep. Sorry, let me give it to proper in the sacks for. <laughs> yeah, she's staying for breakfast. <laughs> how does she like her eggs in the morning? Unfortunately, I hope. How do you like my eggs? How do you like yours? Oh, I'll have a kiss. Oh dear. All the fry. I'm satisfied. <laughs> but will she be satisfied? <laughs> he's got that. He's got that choking hand now, hasn't he? Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, she's in for a while, though. Fucking hell. The, the Furious Soup Gang, dipping the toasted soldiers of conversation into the boiled egg of chat. That's brilliant. Right, and on Fantastic that... Fantastic way to sum up. Yeah, but... and on that note, off we go.